Hello and welcome to Good Life, the health show with me, Pooja. Well, this is a show that focuses on providing you with solutions to your health-related issues, a lifestyle and much more. Well, viewers, obesity is a complex disease involving an excessive amount of body fat. Obesity isn't just a cosmetic concern. It is a medical problem that increases your risk of diseases and health problems such as heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure and certain cancers also. Well, to, so, to discuss on the topic, we have with us in studio Dr. Chantana Sharma, Senior Consultant, Internal Medicine and Critical Care from Health City Hospital. So not to waste any more time, I'll straight away move to her and talk more on the topic which we have taken today. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Chantana, for coming to Good Life, the health show. So in the entire episode, we are going to talk on the topic which we have taken, that is obesity, which is very much in, which is the talk of the town these days and not only in in, uh, yeah, young or in the elderly people but also we have seen in the children this is very common these days so at first obesity in generic how would you like to tell our viewers about that uh, well a very good afternoon uh, to all of you um, actually uh, obesity today uh, in the current times we have seen this that this is an area age of a pandemic the COVID pandemic going on and we are all concerned with these infectious diseases and how they are affecting our lives but at the background is also uh, another epidemic which is slowly going on in the community and obesity is one of them okay. we cannot ignore it and as uh, civilization has modernized, mm -hmm. obesity is becoming a major public health concern. Mm -hmm. And uh, obesity, as you said, is uh, excessive fat accumulation in mm -hmm. the body. And we define obesity in scientific terms when the body mass index okay. of a person is mm -hmm. more than uh, 30. More than 30. Yeah. So body mass index is uh, the weight mm -hmm. of a person in mm -hmm. kilograms mm -hmm. divided by his height in meters uh, squared. Okay. So the squared height in meters of a person. Mm -hmm. So if this BMI or the body mass index mm -hmm. is more than 30, we call a person to be obese. Okay. Uh, someone whose body mass index is more than 25, mm -hmm. uh, we call him overweight. Mm -hmm. He's not obese, but mm -hmm. overweight. Overweight. Overweight, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the concerns of, uh, you know, uh, all the diseases that you have mentioned, like mm -hmm. diabetes, mm -hmm. heart diseases, mm -hmm. strokes, the, all the concerns are there with overweight as well as with obesity. Okay, so this is an, indeed a major concern at this yes, point in time true. and one has to keep in mind about the certain diseases that has been affected true. by this. So true. we will talk on that in the entire episode. But first of all, I would like to ask you, Dr. Chandana, that how huge is this problem? Like uh, what kind of like patients do you get yeah. into through and uh, what are the problems they basically face? Uh, actually, uh, obesity, like uh, as, as, as we've all, uh, mm -hmm. already mentioned, it is like a major public health problem mm -hmm. and it is existing in the society, uh, ignored to a certain extent. Okay. Uh, ignored, I'm t uh, saying, because uh, most of these people, mm -hmm. of the, or, the, or these patients, when they come to us, uh, at, um, to the physicians or mm -hmm. to the doctors, mm -hmm. they come already with complicated stages. Oh. See, they have uh, advanced cardiovascular heart disease, they have strokes, they have advanced diabetes. Okay. So when they come to the physician, it's already mm -hmm. too late. Okay. As you know that it is very difficult to treat obesity. Mm -hmm. So prevention is in good. case of yeah, yeah. obesity, like mm -hmm. all other diseases, is mm -hmm. better than cure. Mm -hmm. So uh, obesity is very much there, very much existing. It's mm -hmm. increasing day by day. And uh, it has almost tripled in the last uh, you know, uh, okay. few years. Uh, since 1975, the statistics shows that across the world, across mm -hmm. the globe, it has tripled in uh, quantity. The all numbers. right, the doctor, we'll come back to dad will do more conversation but we have a caller waiting for us so let's take the call uh hello hello uh hello uh just i want to ask you one thing uh i'm 27 uh, but uh, i'm underweight i have even uh done medical treatment i'm not uh, a patient of COVID, thyroid also but uh, may i know the what's the reason that on 27 i'm still underweight i don't even have thyroid okay Okay, so uh, she his her problem is exactly opposite She's to what yeah. you can yeah. have a conversation yeah. Yeah. with her. So uh, we are uh, talking about obesity and she is concerned about underweight as uh, mm -hmm. I can understand. So it can be due to various reasons but underweight as such is basically because it could be because of malnutrition. Maybe the food that you are have been taking is uh, you know, inadequate for your uh, activity that uh, or it could be that it is normal because you know it it's not necessary that 
that a person has to be uh, needs to have uh, you know um, needs to be uh, needs to wait way more if you are uh, if you are having not having any problem with your quality of life if you are doing your physical work without any exertion then your body weight may just be perfect for you it's nothing like you know uh, what is adequate or what is not unless you have a problem in your day to day activities if your if you're too skinny or if uh, you know uh, low weight is a concern for you you need to do a thorough medical checkup because sometimes some kind of chronic infections malabsorption syndrome all these could be a cause of underweight but right. as I said, yeah, yeah, you need to go for through a thorough medical checkup to know what is the cause or unless and until it really bothers you during your day to day activities or you have certain other issues, then being, uh, you know, normal weight or less than um, normal is not uh, truly a health concern not truly a health yeah. concern so thank you so much for calling and our numbers are flashed on your television screens viewers so if you have any queries regarding the topic that is obesity we are having a conversation on that so please call up and ask your question dr chandana is with us in studio and she'll probably give you all the answers we're right, coming back to you doctor again so this was a topic and this was a question regarding underweight, underweight people yeah. are really concerned about True. it as True. well so let's come back to obesity how True. huge is the problem you were talking about the statistics yeah. So mm -hmm. please mention that. Yeah. So as I said, it has um, you know, the number has it's it's a huge burden mm -hmm. now, and uh, we are only seeing the tip of the iceberg. You know, mm -hmm. only those people who come to the hospital or who have serious medical concerns. We are only seeing those people, but there are the obesity is there in the society, and we need to really tackle it, uh, okay. you know, uh, in a big way. Mm -hmm. And for this, we need uh, not only you know efforts at the individual level, but also at the society level. Right, you know? so we yeah. have another caller yeah. waiting, so let's take the call. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, more uh, baby boy as Luta. Actually, more uh, weight too as well. Weight was a more 68. Uh, feeding was a weight too. But now, it's a little bit of weight too. And the second thing, more than it is a little bit of exercise or a little bit of exercise. This is a little bit of physician. And more age was a 33. So, if you have weight gain, you can do it. 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 Okay. Okay, so she's basically asking about mm -hmm. the prevention, uh, mm -hmm. like how to prevent uh, from mm -hmm. gaining more weight. You can answer yeah. her in a comfortable okay. language yeah. as well. As so, uh, weight, now, what do you want to ask us about our diet? Or, if you have a diet, you have a diet, and you have a diet, and you have a diet, excess carbohydrate and excess fat consume. Because this is a normal tendency, if you have a baby, you have a baby, खुआए मने डे फैमिली मेंबर्स को बेसिक के ओवरफीडिंग करे और ये ओवरफीडिंग हैज़ टू बी अवॉइडेड इट्स नॉट ओनली गुड बैड फॉर यू बट इट्स नॉट सो नॉट गुड फॉर योर चिल्ड्रन एस वेल सो ओवरवेट नो हो बो करने यू नीड टू टेक अ बैलेंस डाइट विथ लेस कार्बोहाइड्रेट लेस फैट एंड इंक्रीज uh, dense uh, calorie dense uh, diet so k2 hobo balanced diet excessive sugars excessive fats ekhini consumption koma bolebo secondly physical activity kot hat apuni mention kori se je jihetu you have had a recent cesarean section you have been uh, you know uh, restrained uh, from physical activity it's not so if you are you know uh, six weeks past your cesarean section or uh, you are comfortable with your normal household activities then you should carry on with that not that you uh, have prolonged rest, you can carry on with your daily physical activity. Do a little bit of physical uh, activity like walking inside your uh, campus, half an hour of walking will not harm in any way, either the caesarean, um, you know, the post-operative or any, hmm. in any other way. So physical activity and a balanced diet are just right for, uh, you know, preventing uh, weight gain at this stage. It, this is a very common problem. Most common of the yeah, most mm. females again mm. wait after the family delivery. Members will yeah, be after family them. members feed them. Mm -hmm. Inactivity high. Bohut. Working mothers they stop going to work and right. stay with their babies. So mm -hmm. that is a very major. All right. Uh, you Thank know, you so answer. much for calling. So, doctor, coming back to the obesity part, uh, yeah. let's talk mm. about the basic uh, causes of uh, obesity. Yeah. What would be actually that? actually when we are talking about you know uh, morbid obesity, like mm -hmm. uh, morbid obesity is a term which is used for you know 
very fat individuals like oh. who are more than whose BMI is more than 40 kgs you know mm -hmm. we see patients with 110 kgs 100 and mm -hmm. you know up to 20 kgs of patients we have uh, come across so morbid obesity is basically uh, due to a lot of factors a com combination of factors mm. uh, some are inherited okay oh, genetic genetic and combined with the environmental factors the diet and you know, the diet which they follow and mm -hmm. physical inactivity all right so, so it is, is it basically a both combination men and women? yes it's both with this men and women but some hormonal influences are Absolutely. there yeah there are yeah, some, there changes, are some hormonal changes usually because uh, in females mm -hmm. um, uh, during the entire reproductive period mm -hmm. the female hormones are active so mm -hmm. uh, once the female effect of female hormones goes away you know mm -hmm. after menopause there the change on the hormonal pattern oh. also uh, differs okay and there are certain diseases which causes obesity so these mm. are very you know um, mm. uh, not very common diseases some uncommon diseases which leads to obesity like you know some genetic diseases like you know Prader Willi syndrome is a very rare and mm -hmm. uncommon diseases, mm -hmm. but some common diseases like common diseases. hypothyroidism. Hypothyroid. Yeah, hypothyroidism. Ah. Low um, hypothyroidism is a disease which is very common in the society, mm -hmm. and it is a concern for overweight. Okay. So hypothyroidism, then certain diseases like Cushing's disease, mm -hmm. certain drugs, some medications. Mm -hmm. Some people are on steroids for mm -hmm. a. a some diseases mm -hmm. like so asthma, those side arthritis, effects also side effects of these medications also leads to uh, mm -hmm. weight gain. So mm. basically it's a combination of factors but okay. the most common, common issues, ones, yeah. most common ones mm -hmm. are inadequate diet, mm -hmm. inadequate in the sense a diet which is carbohydrate rich mm -hmm. and uh, fat rich mm -hmm. and um, physical inactivity. And then maybe skipping meals also. Skipping meals and um, mm -hmm. skipping meals, lack of Prop sleep. Lack, lack of, of sleep. sleep. Yeah, okay. lack, lack of, of sleep, sleep is a very okay. important, it, it's in recent statistics have shown that lack of sleep, stress, mm -hmm. these are all depression. Okay. You know, depression is a double-edged sword. Depression ah. can be uh, because of obesity mm -hmm. and depression can also lead to obesity to because obesity, when you are depressed okay. you tend so to eat more. it's nothing to do only more. with the diet No, it's, it's and basically a combination of so things all the factors. things have changed and factors have changed nowadays. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. okay. So mm -hmm. these are very common factors which yeah. leads to obesity, obesity. and a stress mm -hmm. which you were talking about. Yes. Mm -hmm. Stress, then the physical activity which has True. been lessened these days True. and we see that it's all materialistic yes. these days. So yeah. we'll talk and we'll have a more conversation on this but doctor, we'll have to slip into a short break. All right. Viewers, uh, we'll slip into a short break, but do come back soon because we have lots more on the other side. Welcome back viewers, you're still watching Good Life The Health Show with me Pooja and we are having a fruitful discussion on the topic which we have taken today that is obesity with Dr. Chandana. So uh, Dr. coming back to you again, we had a knowledge about the basic uh, causes about uh, obesity. Now let's talk about the health consequences okay. of obesity. Yeah, so uh, the most important health consequences of mm. obesity are uh, non-communicable diseases. By okay. non-communicable diseases, I mean mm. those diseases which mm. cannot be spread from person to person. Ah. And those are diabetes, mm -hmm. hypertension, mm -hmm. cardiovascular diseases like okay. you know heart strokes, mm -hmm. uh, myocardial infarction, okay. we call okay. it in medical term, mm. or brain strokes. Mm -hmm. uh, we have osteoarthritis, very very overweight or obese ah. individuals, they tend to have osteoarthritis mm -hmm. to the extent that at one point of time they need mm -hmm. to replace their uh, joints, you oh, know, okay. knee joints. So osteoarthritis okay, okay. is a major issue. Mm -hmm. Then uh, in children and adolescents, we mm -hmm. have uh, certain uh, issues of reproductive and hormonal okay, uh, okay. diseases like mm -hmm. PCOD, polycystic ovarian diseases, mm -hmm. which uh, in the later years uh, leads to infertility. Mm -hmm. Then we have some, you know, during pregnancy, as we know, mm -hmm. obesity creates a lot of problem. Right. Then uh, obstructive sleep apnea, which mm -hmm. is again a very major concern because these uh, the obese uh, people, they you mm -hmm. know when they sleep at night, they mm -hmm. do not ha they have an obstructed airway because of the, all the fat you know okay. surrounding the airway, uh -huh. and they cannot breathe properly. Uh -huh. They have periods of apnea, okay. and this leads uh, to you know during daytime somnolence. They mm -hmm. you'll observe that some obese people when they are at work they tend to drowse off, oh, just yes. like that they tend to drowse off. Right, so right. this is basically because of obstructive sleep apnea. This is okay. a very major issue uh, mm -hmm. these days. So this and is very common yeah. with the obese people? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's very common with the obese people, more mm -hmm. common with the morbidly obese mm -hmm. uh, people and mm -hmm. they need 
uh, some kind of you know assisted devices uh, mm -hmm. for respiration at night. Mm -hmm. So obstructive sleep apnea is one mm -hmm. of these um, you know uh, mm -hmm. d uh, one of the consequences of okay. obesity. Mm -hmm. So basically these are the most common ones mm -hmm. and another important thing is that obesity is a pro-inflammatory condition mm -hmm. and it leads to you know thrombosis or pro-thrombotic state. Mm -hmm. So any person who, mm -hmm. who is obese and mm -hmm. lands up in the ICU with mm -hmm. due to some critical illness, okay. like we've seen a lot of COVID patients landing mm -hmm. up in the ICU mm -hmm. but out of them those people who are obese mm -hmm. or who are uh, you know have some uh, of these health issues like diabetes, diabetes hypertension, hypertension, kidney disease, mm -hmm. they fare very badly. Okay. You know, they are the ones who have very worst, mm -hmm. they have the worst outcomes. So okay. basically obesity is a contributing factor mm -hmm. to critical illness uh -huh. and uh, people fare very badly uh, mm -hmm. once they are you know critically ill once. okay okay now if we talk about a childhood obesity which yes, is also very yes. much seen these days and we also mm -hmm. hear about it so mm -hmm. is childhood obesity a concern in our country very much Pooja. Mm -hmm. this is uh, you know it's something mm -hmm. which is uh, like uh, very important because it has to be prevented mm -hmm. as we know obesity is uh, very difficult to treat okay. so from the since a child is you know starts eating mm -hmm. the parents need to be their role models the mm -hmm. parents need to show them what is the right food to eat Hmm. Our children in the present society, they have an access to a whole lot of food which are, you know, hmm. calorie, high calorie, high calorie with sweets, carbohydrate, hmm. all the bad, you know, mm -hmm. carbohydrates mm -hmm. like sugar. Sugar is nowadays in the Western world, it is called as the new tobacco. You know, oh. so it's so bad. The mm -hmm. high sugar, the food content of the children mm -hmm. these days, they are high sugar, high, sugar. high salt, mm -hmm. high fat. So okay. all these are very harmful. So what about the products they use for the children? So it is of this. Yes, kind even of one more important mm -hmm. thing is that formula feeding of formula, yeah, feeding. formula feeds this for is the very infants is very day. bad. Mm -hmm. Those children who are breastfed, they mm -hmm. have they tend to have less obesity. Okay. So but the ones who are formula fed and mm -hmm. who have not been breastfed, they have obesity, childhood obesity, mm -hmm. and as I said, childhood obesity. Obesity in girls, they cause uh, PCOD, mm. infertility mm. in the mm. later stages. So in the later on yes, period, yes, so many consequences, so many that. consequences. Mm -hmm. So a recent survey I would like to mention here mm -hmm. that uh, it showed that in India, mm. nearly around five to eight million, mm. uh, eight percentage of five, uh, to, school, eight five to eight percent of school-going children mm. are obese. obese. And if it goes in this uh, manner, by 2030, we are going to have around 20 to 30 million of obese children in the country. So school children or like uh, the children who go to school, so what is the reason behind it, doctor? So is it because of the proper, the, the, the timings yeah, of the yeah, diet the or... Causes the causes are basically the mm -hmm. same, you know, the kind of food they eat, mm. excess, uh, uh, you know, access to food, yeah. uh, access to fast food. Food, fast access food, food sweetened beverages. Food Children mm. nowadays hardly drink water. Mm -hmm. They drink cold drinks, mm -hmm. coke and all these sweetened beverages which are very harmful. Mm -hmm. Potato chips. Potato mm -hmm. chips is one dangerous thing which you know the kids love so much. Mm -hmm. So uh, excess salt, excess sugar, more mm -hmm. fat, fried foods, fast food. Mm -hmm. So all these things are uh, contributing to childhood obesity uh -huh. and physical inactivity. Most of the children are on the, you know, either screen or television. Mm -hmm. So increased mm -hmm. so screen activity time, is physical less. activity is so mm -hmm. less. Mm -hmm. So as I said, children, the parents need to be role models in this. Mm -hmm. At least 60 minutes of time per hours, uh, 60 mm. minutes per day a proper time should be kept proper for time physical activity for, important. yes, very important mm. for In physical fact, activity. both the parents and also it's good for gelling up yeah, of the parents family, and the children. Yeah, for a family, for the family yeah. Yeah. you will see that obesity mm. runs in family. Why is it so? It's not just because of the genes. Mm -hmm. It's not because of the genes they share. Mm -hmm. It's basically the food the habits they the, share, yeah, the, the lifestyle, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's basically like a combined uh, mm -hmm. effort which will help us in you know tackling the problem all right well doctor let's talk about the preventive measures yeah. in both case uh, like in also in the adults and true, also in the true. children as well so as i said that obesity is very difficult to mm -hmm. treat you, but once you get a person who is over 100 kg mm -hmm. over above 90 kg it mm -hmm. is extremely difficult to mm -hmm. treat so prevention is and maybe one with yeah. all kind of diseases yes also. definitely mm -hmm. with all kinds of diseases so mm -hmm. prevention is one uh, you know factor which will help us in mm -hmm. tackling this problem mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as I said, that we need to have a good diet plan for this, plan. Uh, for these people, as well as for the overweight people, you know, so that they do not go mm -hmm. into um, obesity. Okay. So a proper diet plan, it can be a short-term plan. You know, nowadays mm -hmm. so many diet plans are there: intermittent fasting, keto diets. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say that they are not useful, mm -hmm. but in the long term, you know, mm -hmm. they are as uh, good as uh, you know energy uh, uh, diets where you are restricting your carbohydrates. Okay. So the, basically, you need to go about a diet plan where you 
you can adhere to. You have mm -hmm. to stick to it. Stick Consistency to it. is most important. Absolutely. You are going for an intermittent diet uh, today. After two, three months, you are back to your, uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. same meal. So that a should diet not that be doesn't so. make you feel that yes, you are going through yes, something. Yes, yes. You are not going through. It should be a very yeah, natural. It should thing. be a natural. It should natural. be a, a balanced diet mm -hmm. plan. Restrict your sugars. Restrict mm -hmm. the fats in the diet. Mm -hmm. Have a whole lot of, you know, micronutrient uh, dense uh, food like mm -hmm. fruits, vegetables, mm -hmm. uh, then whole grains. Okay. So. Uh, Fast food needs to be avoided in okay. all, you know, uh, mm -hmm. diet plans. Fast food, sugars, mm -hmm. and uh, carb uh, excess carbohydrates, mm -hmm. and saturated fats like mm -hmm. butter, you know, all these mm -hmm. needs to be avoided. Mm. So basically, it's a diet plan. And diet second plan. most important thing is mm. exercise. Exercise. No? Exercise could be like you know you can go for a walk, fast mm -hmm. walking, cycling, swimming, anything. But it has to be consistent, and you need to adhere to it. Mm -hmm. At least 60 minutes per day, okay. you know, for a child or an adolescent mm -hmm. and around 150 to 300 minutes per week for mm -hmm. an adult. All so right. This and, is very important. And a proper sleep is also very important. Proper sleep, yeah. Stress free. Timing of sleep is also yeah, very timing important. Timing of sleep, yeah. Mm -hmm. At least six to eight hours of sleep per day is very mm -hmm. important. And if a child, we have seen now the screen time yeah. for child, mm -hmm. it tends to make them sleep late, True. wake up late. And True. nowadays, uh, mm. the school timings, there it's all True. about online classes yes. as well. True. So mm -hmm. these things have messed up all kinds of things. So obesity is going to be a great concern because if parents doesn't take care of their children, they are not going to take care of themselves. So it's very important that how parents are going to lead their child uh, to a good and a healthy lifestyle, True. isn't it? Yeah. So if we talk about the uh, the school authorities also, like they should have a proper balanced diet yes. chart. Yeah. We have seen some yeah. schools, they mm -hmm. also give all the kind of routine roster uh, mm -hmm. for their children that mm -hmm. Mondays they should have uh, this kind of food or True. Tuesdays. True. So mm -hmm. in any other way, it's a good uh, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it's a good mm -hmm. kind of thing because in that way, you'll have a balanced, uh, balanced food, uh, you know, diet plan for the whole week. Yeah, you get yes. all kinds of nutrition and along with that physical activity school authorities should stick to a proper physical activity mm -hmm. you know uh, period for mm -hmm. uh, every class because mm -hmm. it's not that you have a physical exercise class and the children are there inside the room mm -hmm. no they should be Absolutely. on the playground they should play mm -hmm. and physical activity is most important very yes. important mm -hmm. so now let's talk about an important part stress mm -hmm. you were talking yeah. about now this obesity also puts up a very psychological effect True, yeah. on uh, mm -hmm. each and every buddy who is facing yeah. obesity so what is the reason Reason behind yeah. it and what can be done like yeah. a actually, proper uh, mm. consultation is also true. very important true mm. actually you know obesity uh, you know it hampers the quality of your life so mm -hmm. whether you are working in an office whether mm -hmm. you are you know into uh, any kind of uh, uh, activity so mm -hmm. it will uh, the quality of your activity, right. quality of your of life will be hampered. Even in children, mm -hmm. you know, these uh, depression, mm -hmm. then uh, body shaming, mm -hmm. guilt, guilt. Uh, yeah, and uh, they try to stay away from the main crowd. Mm -hmm. So these are certain issues which becomes very, uh, you know, uh, depre depressive, uh, depressive for the individual, and they have to be tackled. Mm -hmm. So what we need is a behavioral treatment. Mm -hmm. You know, behavioral treatment for these uh, people who are overweight or obese. Okay. And if they are not, uh, if if these uh, obese uh, you know individuals they are mm. not helped mm -hmm. by diet exercise mm -hmm. and behavioral uh, mm -hmm. you know treatment we have to go for surgery you know, okay. sometimes some medications are also there which mm -hmm. are useful for decreasing weight mm -hmm. uh, but uh, if it becomes too huge a burden and mm -hmm. it affects your quality of life then the last resort is bariatric surgery it is mm -hmm. not a very common uh, surgery but it uh, there is a way I'm just mentioning it because uh -huh. sometimes you become like is there isn't a way out mm -hmm. yes there is a way out mm -hmm. if it is not diet exercise comes but that's first in, all in a very yes. extreme case extreme it's cases not generally extreme like, cases it's yeah. extreme cases and mm -hmm. it has got its own side effects so mm -hmm. i'm just mentioning it because if everything mm -hmm. fails mm -hmm. you do have a way out all right doctor so we are really short of time so on your last note what would you like to tell our viewers what kind of tips do you want to give it to them mm, yeah actually as we have been uh, talking to so much of talking on obesity so mm -hmm. the most important thing is to follow a proper uh, you know diet pattern and uh, avoid sugars avoid uh, you know as much as possible fast food sweetened beverages these are all like you know the whole industry is trying to force us into obesity the whole, if you see the commercials mm -hmm. 
for, mm. of uh, sweetened beverages, potato chips, they are all forcing us into this uh, picture. So we try to come out of it. And uh, along with a diet plan, do regu regu exercise regularly, you know, whatever in whatever way, whichever way, dancing, swimming, walking. If you do not, do not have access to the gym, it doesn't matter. It's not important that you need to go to you a gym. To to go gym. out for yes. a walk, go out for a walk. 30 mm -hmm. minutes of brisk walking is good enough, but you just need to be consistent, adhere to it, and I'm sure you'll come out of it. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Chandana, for coming to our show. I'm sure the viewers who have watched our show must be benefited with the answers she gave. And with this, we have come to the end of the show and we hope that we were able to answer all your queries in the best possible way. And in our next episode, we will be discussing on some other important health issues. So if you have any queries, do join us next Saturday at 3.30 p.m. live. Till then, stay healthy, stay fit and keep watching Northeast Life. Goodbye.